Hey guys, it's Nicole Nixon 6 here and welcome back to my back to school series. Okay guys, so last time I did packing where I packed up stuff in my binder, stuff in my pencil box and pencil bag, and then into my backpack. But today I'll be doing a DIY episode. <laughs> okay, so yeah. We're going to be starting out the DIY episode with spicing up your backpack just the way you want it. So, I have two examples here of how to DIY your backpack. So, if you have a backpack like this that already has designs on it, and you really can't do anything about it, then you can't do anything about it. See, there's already a, lots of designs and stuff, so you can't just rip those designs off or anything. But... This is the fun part. When you have a boy's backpack that you really don't want to wear, like this, then this is the backpack you can spice up to make it your own. So basically all you have to do is just take a marker and draw all over it, write your name on it and all that stuff. So yeah, luckily I duct taped this backpack and we're going to see how long it lasts. But you can also still take a marker, but I don't know, I might not do anything. It's kind of hard to DIY on this backpack just because it already has a lot of designs on it. And so, so yeah, that's how you kind of design it yourself, as they say. Okay, so another way to spice up your backpack very, very well is to just simply buy these little clip things to go on your backpack. There you go. So this one says Nicole, and she's a little girl. She's, they're called Zipper Pals. Um, and you can get the one that says your name. There's mine. And she's a little shopping girl, which is not me at all. Um, <laughs> and this one, as you can see, is just a little clip. So all you're going to do is, I know you can't see, but you're just simply going to clip it to your zipper part of your backpack. And then, like that, and it's your own backpack. So then, on the zipper, it says your name. So I also have some more of those. Well, not those. This one is a light. Um, just click the button, and then it turns into a light. Just flashing in your eyes. <laughs> okay, anyways. And see, it goes like that. You can either put it on your keys, or you can put it on your backpack. I don't know, I'll put it on my backpack. So, um, yeah. So basically that's a way that you can spice up your backpack is to just kind of put some clippers on it or, you know, something like that. And that also spices up your backpack. So that's two ways of spicing up your backpack or DIYing your backpack. Moving on. Alright, up next I'm going to be talking about spicing up your locker just the way you want it. So... Basically, all of it is spicing up. <laughs> um, so, basically, for spicing up your locker, you're just going to take some pictures there, like some printed out pictures you have, bring a couple magnets, and just place them on your locker door or in the back. That's what I did. But also, you can also put on your locker door this little whiteboard. So not only does it spice up your locker a little bit to make it look fancy, but it also helps you study. You can write down your homework so that you don't forget to bring your homework, because that has happened to me a couple times. I just bought this this year, but um, I've heard around from a lot of people that it helps you with your homework and study and stuff, and I think that it will definitely help me. So just grab a whiteboard from your local store, and it should be in the back-to-school section, so just get a whiteboard. And it also makes your locker look fancy. And if you have a locker neighbor, which you do have to have a locker neighbor in 8th grade, or a locker person that you share a locker with, you can also send messages to them. And there's even an eraser right on the back. So you can just write something and then erase it when you're all done. So, super simple. Um, and also, you could put one of these little locker shelves things in your locker. 
it does make it look fancy and very, very organized. And it kind of spices up your locker a little bit because it has these little holders and you could just put your things in there and it organizes it and it really spices it up. Once again, my first year of using this, but um, I'm pretty excited to use it actually. So, yay! So, yeah. So, also, you can also put in your locker, which is actually pretty recommended for an 8th grader like me, but, but just because you have to share a locker, putting a locker shelf in there keeps your locker organized and really spices it up. If you can see in the demonstration, here's the shelf right here, and then you can put some books on the bottom and then use some binders on the top if you want to. For sharing a locker, this is absolutely recommended, highly recommended, because this, um, your, there's three shelves, the top shelf, the middle shelf, and the bottom shelf. So, we're going to have to share the middle shelf, and this is the perfect way to share the middle shelf. It is a 12-inch shelf, so it also helps, and you can buy more if you have a bigger locker and you don't have any shelves, and then it will look like that. But, yeah, so, having this definitely spices up your locker, it organizes it very, very well, and it is definitely a good way to spice up your locker if that's what you're trying to do. Alright, moving on to the last DIY. Alright, so the very last DIY is simply how to give your binder a little bit of decoration. So, a good way to give your binder a little bit of decoration for the front and the back is to just simply grab some duct tape and kind of make little designs on the back. Or, you can also grab one of your favorite posters and mine is Skylar Lane from American Idol. Yes. It did get ripped when I took off the tape, so I might have to cut that down. And then just simply put it right through the folder part. And then, you'll always have your favorite poster right there with you, even at school. And you can also do that to the back. Keeping in mind, it might fold a little bit depending on how big your binder is. But yeah, it's a very good way to spice up your binder and really make it look good. So, the duct tape way. Um, I might, like, put duct tape all right here. And on the back, I might put, like, duct tape, like, across, like an X. X. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So, let me show you that when I'm done. And your front has your favorite poster. And the back has your very own duct tape cross, or X. I just put some panther and some zebra duct tape to make a little X, and I think it looks great. And you can even put another piece here and then here to make a snowflake, but I kind of like the X. So if you did do a snowflake, it would look very good if you'd use all different colors, but it's okay if you don't. So here's your X, your back, your front. That makes your very own DIY binder and it even makes everyone talk about your own binder. So, you never know, people can be talking about your binder. That looks, that sounds very weird, okay. Anyways, so you can also draw your very own picture and put it in the front, such as, just like that. And it even blends in with the white. Anyways, so that's how to kind of spice up your binder a little bit. And I think I'm going to put some duct tape right here and make it look very much original. So that's how to DIY your binder. Then if you played around a little bit more with your duct tape, you can completely design your own binder. The back, the side, and the front as well. This is what I call my own kind of binder. <laughs> and then, everyone will really be talking about it. And they'll want to do it on their own. So, if you'll excuse me, I have some DIYing to do. <laughs> that was lame. Well, I will see you guys in, next, in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. And... Hope you liked it, and you can comment down below, um, what's your favorite kind of duct tape that's on here. 
purple zebra, leopard, garden or flower, cotton candy, rainbow, or cherry. And you can comment down below also if you like my binder. It's definitely my kind of binder. And that's what I call a major DIY. Anyways, I will see you guys later. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, see you in my next video. Bye!